Blossom is comprised of six group members. Kaylee, Brody, Maria, Emily, Joseph, and Raul. We are in the online Principles of Management course, and this is our final Finger Puppet Management presentation. Our mission and objective is to create a show that will give viewers an understanding of how managers, co-workers, and others react to handling certain situations inside and out of the workplace. Our episodes display themes such as ethical, ethical dilemmas, managerial roles, international management, planning and organizing, strategic management, and individual decision making. A brief plot overview. Two doctors at Awesome Medical Practice in St. Petersburg, Florida are close friends, Dr. Robert and Dr. Paul. Paul is a senior doctor at the practice, but he feels cheated when he finds out that Dr. Robert received the promotion of the practice manager instead of him. Out of jealousy, Paul displays active ang acts of anger and resentment throughout the practice and even lashes out at coworkers. Eventually, Paul is met with an ethical dilemma that a patient proposes to him during a consultation. This proposition would provide Dr. Paul with both a monetary and a personal retribution towards Dr. Robert. Will Paul take the high road, or will he have a lapse in ethical judgment and get back at Dr. Robert? Stay tuned to find out. Paul has always worked hard to achieve his goals. He came from a low-income family and had very little growing up. His desire to help his overworked single mother fueled his desire to attend medical school. He graduated from John Hopkins at the top of his class. He not only cares about his job, but values the opportunities he has to help others. Paul is a well-respected doctor and family man. He is married to his college sweetheart, Paula. He makes a decent living for himself, but has always been envious of the success of his co-worker, Robert. His internal jealousy of Robert's success proves to threaten his career throughout this story. Robert has always had an easier life. He came from an upper middle class family. He was the son of a cardiologist. Robert was predestined to follow in his father's footsteps. He has always been told he is a natural born leader and will aspire to do great things. But with the recent promotion, Robert is finding out what the real world pressure feels like. Robert has developed a gambling problem, causing a loss of money, disrespect to the practice's code of conduct, and a personal vendetta from the Mafia. Paula knows exactly what she wants and is not afraid to take action towards making her dreams come true. She came to America as a foreign exchange student from a poor country. She met Paul in college and has been in love ever since. Paula's intentions were always to marry a wealthy husband. She has been more than supportive of Paul, but lately has been a nuisance, nagging him about his lack of money. Timmy is a mafia man. He is sneaky, clever, and will take anyone out to get his way. Timmy has not had a great past when it comes to trust. He partakes in various illegal activities and can access personal secrets, whether true or not. Sally is a bubbly and upbeat receptionist at the office where Paul and Robert practice medicine. Her positive attitude brightens the office and brings a smile to staff and patients, making her the perfect candidate for her position. Sally is working answering phone calls and organizing patient charts as a part of her internship. She dreams of becoming a physician's assistant. She comes to work each day excited and motivated for the tasks that lie ahead. Sally encourages the success of others. She certainly would never dream of taking someone's accomplishments from them. A brief plot recap of episode one, before we dive into the managerial concepts. Episode one begins in the conference room at Awesome Medical Practices. The corporate manager has called the entire practice into the conference room before opening on Monday morning. The reason for the conference is the corporate manager plans to promote Dr. Robert to manage the practice. This creates a rift within the practice, 
primarily because Dr. Paul, the longest practicing doctor at the practice, has been practicing medicine the longest and has the highest satisfied patient rating. In addition to that, Dr. Paul is also consistently the first one in and the last one out. Dr. Paul is infuriated when he hears that the Dr. Robert has received a promotion instead of him. It is, been, it is to be noted that Dr. Robert comes from a privileged background and his father was a cardiologist. The main managerial concept that we focused on this episode is distributive justice, in particular the justice approach. In regards to the promotion, the justice approach by definition is the equitable distribution of rewards and punishment based on performance. It is designed to incentivize employees to increase pro productivity by offering rewards based upon their results. This is why Paul feels cheated. He believes that he is more deserving of the promotion than Dr. Robert. Paul believes the only reason Robert received the promotion is because of his silver spoon background, as opposed to his hard work and dedication to the practice that Paul has provided on a consistent basis for a longer period of time. This episode also shows how the negative results of the justice approach can eventually create ethical and social dilemmas within the firm and outside of it. For example, Paul begins to verbally patronize Robert and any co-workers that he believes are responsible for putting Robert in the new position as manager. Legally, a firm and its management are prohibited to provide their employees with compensation or rewards based upon their race, age, religion, and gender. In this story, the firm does not cross any of the lines that are provided in the U.S. Civil Rights Act of 1964, but it still manages to create a separation within the workplace. Creating a work environment or any environment that completely eliminates jealousy is impossible. Even the justice approach can create a hostile work environment if applied improperly. Ultimately, ultimately, this episode's goal is to provide the explanation of the justice approach and eventually the possible effects it may have if applied improperly. We begin to see deeper into these effects in episode two when Robert begins to take action as manager. In episode two, Robert begins to feel the pressures of becoming a manager. Proceeding a video conference where Robert receives the promotion Paul confronts Sally in order to protest the district manager's decision to promote Robert. Sally expresses a contradictory opinion, leading to a hostile engagement in front of several uncomfortable patients and co-workers. Robert fulfills his managerial responsibilities with poise by promptly diffusing the altercation, followed by a private discussion with Paul. Robert explains to Paul how outbursts such as these will negatively affect the reputation and success and advancement of the clinic as well as himself. Remaining episodes reveal the sequence of managerial challenges, leaving several characters with life-changing decisions to make. In conclusion, over the course of this project, our group has learned how to work as a team by utilizing technology and other resources Meeting in person on a couple occasions helped us bridge any gaps that were difficult to cover via Facebook Messenger, Google Docs, and Canvas. We were easily able to work together to agree upon one story for our television series. As the course progressed, we all helped contribute by adding to and revising the original story in order to create the final product. So that the workload was equally distributed, Certain people were designated certain tasks for each milestone. For example, some people elaborated on episodes, some elaborated on characters, while others worked on the introduction, conclusion, or PowerPoint. While working on the project, we grew as a group, as well as individually. We not only learned about the principles of management, but we were also able to apply some of that knowledge by communicating and working together to make sure that we completed our assigned task.
Blossom used many tools to complete work throughout this course. However, there are three in particular that we used and would recommend to all future students completing the Finger Puppet Management TV show. One of our useful tools this semester was Facebook Messenger. The first thing we did as a group was form a Facebook group message. The Facebook Messenger app allows you to keep open communication with your team members while making file and link sharing a breeze. Another useful tool our group used was Google Calendar. Using a Google Calendar is a great way for each team member to balance out their unavailable time and the time that they can dedicate to the group. Having all group member schedules readily available reduces uncertainties of who is able and unable to complete what assignment. When working in a group project online, Google Docs will become your best friend. This file sharing platform is great for real-time editing and commenting on each other's work.